my unfiltered thoughts and feelings about Sicily. So I have been, this is going to be a long one, seven times to Sicily. And when I talk to people about Italy and they tell me they've never been to Sicily, Sicily is a completely different experience than Italy, mainland Italy. So if you've only been to Rome, Florence, Venice, Sicily is a completely different country. Now, of course, it's part of Italy as well as Sardinia. I've also been to Sardinia and that's totally different than Italy. Dialect is different. Um, in some ways, it's even more beautiful. Sicily. I mean, I have to go back every year. I can't miss it. And I would like to live there at some point. So here's the thing I'll tell you about Sicily. Unfiltered. First of all, the food is the best food I've had in all of the whole Italian world. <laughs> Italy is my favorite country. But I do think of Sicily as very different because it's southern Italy. I haven't been to Puglia yet, um, but I have been up and down from the north to the south on the train, many, many towns, and not just the big three, Rome, Florence, Venice. I've been all over that country, and I've traveled more in the south than I have in the north. However, I will tell you, my time in the North has been very different than my time in the South. I would say that the people are even more friendly in Sicily. For example, um, a couple of times my I couldn't use my phone, something about, I think I just used WhatsApp last time. Yeah, because I had a bad experience getting a Tim SIM card there. Um, they kept charging me for a couple of years after when I was gone from the country. Um, and I asked two or three times, nice ladies, if I could use their phone and make an Italian, a, a Sicily phone call. They were completely ready to help me. Um, people were so nice. I mean, I can't say that that's not true outside of Sicily. Um, I think people are a little more reserved, but in Sicily, once um, you meet them, they're very friendly, they wanna help you. Um, absolutely amazing how much help you'll get from people. Transportation, a lot of people say the trains and buses aren't good, but I think they're great. I never drive a car, and I recommend that you don't, especially whenever I hear people say, oh, you don't drive a car? They're never driving. Their husband, their partner, the boyfriend is driving, not them. I did run a car in Spain once, and I vowed to never do it again because I like to have wine, and I don't want to worry about stuff. And parking is a nightmare anywhere in Italy, pretty much. <laughs> you can get in a lot of trouble. Um, and it's not allowed a lot of places that are cool. And I like to stay in city centers so I don't rent a car. And I take the train and bus all the time. And I haven't had any problem. And uh, very seldom take taxis. Uber isn't available in most places that I go to. It's available in Paris. And I've taken it there. And I can't think of another city in Europe where it's widely available. There's other apps, but um, I mainly take public transportation. And I think it's reliable in Sicily. So let's see. People, transportation, food. Oh, my God. Arancini. That dessert that's rolled up. Can't think of the name. You know, it's funny. I never eat pizza in Sicily. I can't even think of when I did. There's so many other things to try and I always rent an apartment there so I do my own cooking. So I might like get an arancini, which is a rice ball with either cheese or beef in it. You can only get it in Sicily. Delicious. And everybody has their own 
uh, the best one I had was in Isnello, which is where my grandfather was born. And, you know, the funny thing is, if my grandfather had not been born there, I don't think I would have gone to Sicily. And it's my favorite island now. And I've lived in Hawaii for three years, too. So Hawaii is wonderful, but you can get better housing in Sicily for a better price. And uh, the water, because they don't have... Um, where I like to go anywhere, anyway, they don't have big ships coming in that pollute the water, and the water is very clear and beautiful. Um, and I haven't even seen all of it, because I like to go back to places that I love to rediscover them. And then, of course, this last time I went to some new places, which I'm really happy that I did. I went to Noto, and I went back to Syracuse, which I'm gonna go and stay there for a month next, 2025. And uh, I've spent two weeks in Termina, been there several times. So, you know, I like to go slower. There's one other place that was new that I went. Oh, Agrigento, and I got to see the Greek temples. So I've heard people say, and I think it's true, it's more Greek than Greece, because Sicily's been taken over by so many places, um, so many cultures, Arab, Norman, Roman, Greek, and I'm sure I'm leaving something out. Um, Arabian? Did I say that one? Anyway, it's a fascinating country. Um, one of my, uh, a man I rented from told me that we're standing on history here. And so when we start to renovate <laughs> and we find things, <laughs> fossils and things like that, um, historical things we don't tell because then we'd have to stop renovating and digging so there's a lot of mystery to Sicilia um and I don't blame them because they don't want to have to stop changing things because something has been discovered but it just goes to show that there's a lot about that island that we don't know um, let's see. I'm trying to think of the best things. Oh, last thing I'll talk about is beaches. The ones that I've been on, every time I go, I discover a new beach and I'm stunned at the beauty. Uh, this last time was Kalora Beach in Shefalu. So you had to, I walked, I guess it was about almost a mile I don't even know. Oh, I saw, I looked on Google Maps and I thought, well, that looks like a good place to go. So I went and I ended up going like every day or every other day because I wanted to jump in the water. Um, it was blue and beautiful and just gorgeous. So, I mean, that it was a little tiny beach, which would be covered with people in the summer. So I only go in the winter, January, February, or March. And I can highly recommend that because it's not as crowded. It starts, people start coming in Easter and then it just keeps getting fuller and fuller. So I highly recommend winter because the weather is surprisingly mild. It might rain or it might be windy, but it, there's no tourists and you can really talk to shopkeepers and and make some connections. They're not like sick of all the tours coming. So I've stayed in Shefalu, Tarmina, Palermo, Syracuse um, for a couple of weeks to a month. And I'd like to stay other places too. So those are my unfiltered thoughts on Sicily. I am bringing a small group, six people only. I'll have the link below if you'd like to come with us. Only six people. Taking pictures, eating, and just sharing this beautiful island with you that's in some ways overlooked by people that aren't Italian. So a lot of Italians go to Sicily because they know how amazing it is, but it's not as widely known, although I think it's more getting noticed. Uh, in the mainstream. Maybe it's just me though, because I love seeing new pictures and videos of Sicily all the time. So any questions you have, uh, we can also get on a call about my retreat there in February. It's a six day retreat. In Syracuse, we'll go to Noto. 
And I also give advice about um, if you want to go by yourself. Sicily is a great place to go by yourself, I have to say, because it feels so safe. In some ways, I feel safer in Sicily than I do in my own country. I feel, and I've talked to a lot of local people about this topic too, and it's a comforting feeling. So don't believe all that mafia stuff because here's the thing that I've noticed. I just did a video about this. Don't believe the media about a country. I mean, there's a few countries that I would never go to because of my own vibe about it and things that I've heard, not just in the media. Um, so don't just eliminate a country you'd like to go to because of something you've heard in the media, media like this whole Spain thing isn't true. The Paris strikes weren't as bad as you heard. I was in Paris. I've been in Paris four times in the past more than four times in the past two years so and i always seem to go at significant times when things are happening but then you get there and <laughs> it's not at all what the media said so comment below let me know if you have any questions about sicily if you've got some comments or things you'd like to recommend about it or anything you'd like to say and get in touch if you need some help and Subscribe, share, and like if you found this valuable.